You just heard from our founder of the week, Justin Belmont. His company is called Perkla, so it's a retail discount website. It's geared towards college students. We are going to see what our heavy hitter judges have to say. Scott Kernett is the founder of About.com and the founder of Keep.com. Peter Shankman is a partner at Shankman Honig. Luke Williams is a professor at NYU Stern School of Business, also the author of Disrupt. Mr. Kernett, I'm starting with you. So I, I, I bribed you to let me go first for a reason. <laughs> yeah, the, the, reason. the cupcakes are under the desk. The reason I'm is I wanted to fawn food. all over him because I love this. I That's, thought you might, That actually. was the reason, and I didn't want to follow these guys because then people might think it was groupthink. But, <laughs> but, here's what I don't quite get. First of all, when we talk about competition, I want you to talk about competition. I don't get why it's a website, not an app, because kids don't use the web. It's all apps, so that's weird to me. Um, and it's kind of easy to do. So what you've done, I know, is really hard, but it's easy to do what you're doing, which is to refer off and get 40 stores. No question these stores obviously want to get kids at, the, at that age and give them 20% off to get them for life. But uh, maybe too easy, and why not an app? So a mobile app is definitely something we need to do. It's actually first on my list. I graduate in two weeks from Columbia Business School. I'm going to be taking off my cap and gown and starting to work on a mobile app. Did you miss that Instagram did an app and no website? Did they not teach you that? <laughs> so what we started with is um, a platform to really just get the initial retailers online, see what their interest was, and then also try to gauge initial interest from students. We've gotten a huge response, and now we're excited to build a great mobile application that will respond to the interest that we have from the students. So Peter, is that your concern as well, that, that it's not mobile yet? Yeah, I mean, you know, the concept of, of there, are, there are schools that aren't even giving out email addresses anymore. And I understand that you need the email address to verify that they're a student. However, I signed up this morning. I'm an adjunct at NYU. And I signed up with my email address. And so now I can get 25 to 40% off all these stores as well So as a teacher. So I don't necessarily know if that's something that you thought about. I guess the bigger question for me is, so you get the kids in college. Great. They did that when I went to BU many years ago. We used something called paper. And they were made out of books. And, and you, you tore off a coupon and gave it to them and got a discount. Um, and then we never went back to the stores again. So as you're targeting, my question is, as you're targeting more national brands, they have to be national brands outside of local schools. You're t I see that on the website. Where does it go once the kid graduates? Right. So some people will sneak through. Um, you, by joining today, uh, violated our terms and conditions, which is <laughs> that you must be a current student and you must only be shopping for yourself and not for your friends and family. Just like in the real world, though, some people sneak through. You can put your thumb over your class year, show it at checkout, and, <laughs> and sometimes you'll be able to get your discount. Um, in terms of our relationships uh, with the retailers going forward, we definitely want to continue um, to build out a platform for students after they graduate, so an alumni platform, and our retailers are really interested in sticking with us at I that think point that's well. obviously the much bigger, there's a much bigger play that you're, that I'm glad to hear that you're doing something with. Absolutely. We're not going to throw away 25% of our audience each year when they graduate. We need to build a product that's going to If you do that, you're dating for life. Right. Although, I mean, that being said, there's new freshmen coming in every year. But Justin, just to pick up on, on Scott's point, do the retailers even care that he sneaked through as long as they sold something to him? Let's face it, even if he bought a 25% less, normally the retailers are still making a profit. Maybe they don't care at all. I don't know. The retailers are, are thrilled with this. So the purchase, um, our customers come to Perkla through our site, and then we send them directly to the retailer's website. And they love that. Their margins are really fat there. They can give a discount to everyone who comes, and they can also give a percentage to us, and they're happy with each incremental sale we All get All right, their so way. Luke, who is also an adjunct professor at NYU, but didn't actually sneak through like Peter did, what do you make of this, Luke? <laughs> So, um, so Justin, I'm going to give you some tough love on this because you, you're about you're in the seed round, so it means he's going to be asking a lot of people for money. You're going to be telling his story over and over again. It's not just because you're from Columbia, but <laughs> your pitch is full of broad generalizations. You have to get much more specific. You can't go around saying to people that you're going to ask for money, that this market is huge, where there's 21 million students out there. It's meaningless. Right, so because no disruptive solution starts in a mainstream market, they all have to start in the early market. So the early adopters, where you're finding these people that really love change, they really want to experiment with something new. So do you have an early market defined that you can say to investors, yes, this is exactly who we're targeting on the student side? So right now we actually have started with the top business schools, and that's been extremely successful for us. And we've actually have retailers that are maybe a little more high end than the average student retailer. And that's been a great entry point for us, for sure. 
Go ahead. We raised an interesting point, and, and when I was looking at the site this morning, I remember being in college, and, and I did not know from fashion. A lot of people, my wife would say, I still don't. <laughs> and and so the, 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 the brands that I saw there were very high end. And that, to, to your point, that that's that's a very possible idea, the concept of going after a very niche market within the university. It's not 21 million people, because 18 million of them are drunk on any given day, you know, wearing jeans and a hoodie. So it's not, the, the, the stuff that you're selling there is not, or the, the companies you're working with are not for 21 million people. They're for a very small niche market in that university, the six people in my class who look much, much better than me. So that, I mean, that, as, as far as targeting them, I'd much rather you come to me with numbers that say, you know, out of the 21 million kids in college, this many care about how they look, this many want to spend this much money. That brings it down a little more. We're definitely starting by targeting the most fashionable college students and um, great brands that will be targeted towards them. Hopefully, we're going to build out around that as we grow. All right, so, what, 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 so what, one concern I had was there's something on the... So I did not try to cheat with the .edu. Um, and I think anything. you're right, slippage, who cares? There's slippage in everything. Go ahead, Peter, tell him it's just because he doesn't have an .edu. <laughs> 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 that, that, that might be true, too. Why am I <laughs> Um, but I got one from one of the guys in, in the office uh, to poke around. But you, I did put in my email address because you have something new coming out. And if you have something new coming out before you have this one off the ground, then I'm done fawning all over you. Why do you have something new coming out? So we do want to capture email addresses from everyone that comes to the site. So we're, I think there's a link on the site that says, stay tuned for our next big thing if you don't have a .edu yeah. email address. Full disclosure, we haven't figured that out yet. Okay, okay. Right. I, would, I would lose that. I mean, that, you know, yeah. Facebook, when Facebook first started, they were college. They did not say, eventually, we're going to open up to mainstream. I would, I would lose that. Focus on the market you have to get the market. Justin, as you can see, all three people have years to grill you, but we actually <laughs> have to go to the lightning round. Okay. So would you introduce Justin to you? your investment partner. Scott, we start with you. So I'm, I'm actually, if you'll take it, I'll write you a check because I like what it is. It's perfect. I think you have to go actually down market because up market's premature for you. You got to get that thing off the site that talks about we have other stuff coming or investors are going to run away. But the market's perfect. We're going to talk about due diligence and competition because there is some, even though you said there isn't. So you're going to have to execute brilliantly against a very simple idea that is incredibly <laughs> easy to rip off, but I'm in. And Peter, I traded in my hoodie for this good look. Go ahead. Exactly. Get your day. I'm wearing, I'm wearing, I'm I've got the jacket impressed. on today. Yeah. Um, I, I like what I saw. There is a lot of drill down that has to happen. Um, you know, you're looking at it from a market of everyone, and it's not everyone. But you know, if you nail those drill downs in, I would be willing to introduce you to some people, definitely. Professor Williams. I, I would only introduce you once you get your differentiation nailed down. I don't, I don't think the insight behind the company is differentiated enough. There's nothing to stop other people really getting into this space and competing with you. I don't think that's strong enough yet. But if you come up with a strong, unique selling proposition, I think you could have something interesting. Scott, Peter, Luke, thank you very much. Justin as well. 